Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7L today. Got some more summoning for you guys. We're also going to be doing a showcase of Albedo here. Uh, the Overlord collab is upon us and oh boy, oh boy, am I excited. Now I know that um, I've seen some posts, you know, I've been at work all day and came home, read some posts online, seen some uh, people comment talking about Albedo in general, and people seem to be of the opinion that she is not very good. But it is still the first day, so you never know. Uh, Karina was also deemed to be really bad for about a month or two after her release, and it wasn't really until the collaboration was fully over and everyone kind of started to settle into a new meta that they found a new place for her. But yeah, Albedo seems to be pretty interesting. She has kind of like an Assyria S3, where you get a um, like unbuffable and a uh, defense break, and you, and you get a full buff strip, right? Which is pretty decent. She also does damage proportional to her max health, which is kind of nice. Uh, she also reduces damage suffered um, by up to 20%, I believe. Yeah, so uh, that's for a critical hit. So it's basically a better adamant shield, uh, and then she will counter attack with uh, an AoE like hit that will uh, be activated once every two turns. And she actually goes ahead and um, dispels a buff and increases speed for herself for two turns. So it's not terrible, uh, but yeah, it is quite interesting that uh, they went down this route here. So she has a mitigation, she also does like a little bit of chip damage, so she's a bruiser, right? Uh, and her S1 here is actually uh, just some combat readiness. Most units nowadays have like a stun or like combat readiness on their S1s. So there's not much variety here. Uh, the, the units they want to be good, they definitely want to turn cycle, uh, is one of the most useful skills. Uh, the main thing is 3F here. This is the artifact that I really want to get, and I want multiple copies of it. If you were lucky enough to get multiple copies, please keep them separate. Don't don't accidentally like merge them all together, because uh, that'd be a travesty. This thing is incredibly good. You can use bottles of knowledge over time to uh, basically increase the uh, um, its level, right? Maximum break it, and you can get it to plus 30 that way. But definitely keep them separate. Uh, it has a lot of value. It is basically a rocket punch gauntlet. It's like Karina's artifact, except that it works with AoE units. So it is insane for things like Bellion. Uh, I know people are throwing around things like, oh, Last Rider Crow, or like Counter Yolhas and stuff. No, I think Bellion is going to be using it really, really well. Uh, and, and I also think that uh, there are... Ooh, okay. We got a little four-star action here. Couldn't skip that. Um, I also think we're probably going to get units later down the line that can definitely abuse it, so keep multiple copies. Albedo seems like she'll probably want this artifact. Um, but yeah, it, it is, I think, a 9% HP scaling thing, so most people will be dealing around 2,000 to 2,300 damage of splash for every hit that they do, and... Oh! Okay! <laughs> Come on, guys. We're redeeming. We're just cashing in our luck here from our 20k subscriber uh, special. If you, by, by the way, if you're new to the channel, if you're just joining Epic Seven and you're like, "Hey, uh, I, I like these summons. They're pretty cool," and you want to see a massive Galaxy Bookmark summoning session for some Moonlights, uh, definitely check out my latest summoning video on the channel. 20k subscriber special. You don't want to miss it. I'm sure you'll love it. Um, but yeah, we're just cashing in on that luck here. So. There we go, please! <laughs> no! No, 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 don't do this. Guys, this is giving me uh, last year for the summer, the Lethe event, right? The Lethe summons. I pulled, I don't, I can't even recall how many I pulled. Did I get Albedo? Oh, that's a knight. But I was like, ooh, we're gonna get Albedo now. It's, it's a four star Earth Knight. We got, got a little juked out there. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the, I went in hard for Lethe's Artifact because I knew I was gonna want it, right? On multiple units, um, I pulled none. Zero copies. I got seven off-banner artifacts. The only copy that I managed to keep for myself was the... Um, oh wow, we got scammed with that multiple. Only one I managed to keep for myself was one I bought from the powder shop, so very sad about that. Um, Prayer of Solitude, right? Such a good artifact, but unfortunately, here we are with only one copy. Alright, let's see what we got with this. 
Uh, hopefully we don't go to pity. Ooh, Target Hell's Ancient Book is fantastic. Definitely want to keep this for your mages. I have so many mages that want this artifact. I already have like, what, five or six copies Max Limp Broken? And always need more. Okay, let's see what we get with this one. Let's do a little skipperoo. Oh, it's a ranger. All right, that's definitely not gonna be the five star here. There, thankfully, Epic Seven hasn't gone down like the Genshin Impact uh, route where it, everything's a 50/50, right? A lot of new gotchas go down this 50/50 route. Not a huge fan of it, but thankfully, E7, you know, uh, we can give them flack for a lot of things that they do, but one of the things they really get right is the summoning. Uh, the the fact that I just can't pity, uh, the, the fact that I can just get the unit for pity and I don't have some 50-50 that to worry about is amazing. Uh, and of course you can quote unquote pity the artifact, you just buy from the powder shop. Ooh, Magraha's Tome, not the right book here. Come on now, come on. Are we really, is this really happening guys? Oh, 50 summons left. This is on our way to pity too, we haven't even gotten a copy of her own artifact. This is insane. I have just enough for pity. I have just over 600 bookmarks, 600 summons, or 600 bookmarks and five more for the one extra pity. But can we, can we get some, oh my god. Yo guys, I need like two or three copies of this. This is not good. Oh no, this is not good at all. Got a Kiwana, really want these four stars. Um, really want the four star artifacts, not the four star heroes. Oh shoot, this is terrible. What's wrong with my summoning luck, guys? The small gauge just kind of cursed me. Is, is that what, what's happening here? Alright, we got an Aureus. It's okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? Well, one multi away? Alright, guys. 121 gang, rise up in the comments. Where are you guys? Right, 121 gang, let's go. Uh, actually, we should just like redo the intro right here, right? Let's do our uh, first pull, right? Look at this. First pull, guys. First pull, one tap. We did it. <laughs> oh my god, we didn't even. We got 50 50 on an artifact, too. Ooh, I am really feeling this. <sighs> don't, don't like it. Don't like it at all. But thankfully, we did get Albedo in the end. And uh, now time to go ahead and showcase her in some arena. We'll see how she does. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into our first showcase match here. Going up against a team that I think is fairly common in RTA, right? I'm trying to find teams that are kind of equivalent to what you would see if you were to queue up for live matches. Uh, and that's because I want to test out Beto in this kind of more controlled setting before I take her out into the RTA world and uh, see what she's capable of. So this is my current build. I went for a tank build just to see what it's going to be like. can switch to a damage build later if I find that that is better. But we got about 100 resistance here just to make sure she keeps off the straight debuffs here and there. I built her around 30k health, 1500 defense, which I think is pretty solid. Her speed is is a bit low, but that's because she's on HP boots. Her gear here is nothing special. Got some free protection gear. Got this abomination that I crafted, but actually works quite well for protection gear. The flat HP rolls are good, and same with the bulk for defense, right? Could be used on Crimson Armin if I don't want it on, uh, on Albedo. Now, the other thing is we're running 3F. I bought one copy from the powder shop using some uh, powder that I had, and I threw in five bottles of knowledge. So no, I did not whale for this artifact. I know people always tell me, hey, dude, Azza, you got plus 30 artifact, or what a whale. No, I, you just saw me not get the artifact with the summons. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into this and see how we do. Albedo does have a defense break in her kit. It's going to be nice to see if I can use her with ML Ken here. Uh, the reason I'm bringing ML Ken is because uh, ML Ken actually benefits from getting crit. Uh, so does Albedo, right? When your teammates get crit, in this case, ML Ken, uh, we should be able to do quite a decent chunk of damage to this Landy, if not just outright kill her. So let's go ahead and give the rage buff to everyone, or yeah, to everyone on my team, including the ML Ken. He gets a little bit of extra attack there. Bunny's gonna go, that's fine. You saw the Lulu could go, but she only has half of her focus game there because of um, the ML Politis that we have. Now the other cool thing about protection set is, look at this, Politis barely, ooh, this guy, ooh, whoa, hang on. This guy actually put his LRK on that artifact, that's insane. I love it. 
Uh, who do I want to get rid of? I think I'll get rid of the, the Luluka, because, I mean, Bunny Dom's kind of already done her job, right? This should be able to one-shot the Luluka. There you go, beautiful stuff. Rage buff plus the attack buff on Hua Young is pretty nutty. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the... We don't really need to get rid of the ice cream buff here because Albedo can strip that off of the uh, the landing. Oh, we are going to get countered. That's really bad. Did not want that to happen. Okay, so we can actually soul burn this to uh, decrease the skill cooldown by two turns. Let's go ahead and do that since we're showcasing Albedo here anyway. Uh, she goes in for a big amount of damage. It's actually a decent chunk of damage if you build her on crit. But mine's currently not built on crit, so that is very sad. But there you go, the passive coming out. We actually didn't get to full strip this uh, this Landy here, so I think she resisted, but I think we'll still be fine. We reduce the cr amount of crit that we take on the team by 20% thanks to Albedo's passive. Uh, but yeah, this is just kind of one of those matches where <laughs> when you have a knight like this, they just kind of sit there, right? And that's exactly what you want them to do. Now, you could run her on Aureus. I think that's going a little too far. You might as well run Crimson Armin if you're going down that route, if you're trying to utilize her passive. I think she's, uh, if you build her on a damage build, you could actually probably utilize her with an Aureus Knight uh, alongside of her. So I guess that could be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, the speed buff and the rage buff together, you saw Albedo was taking some turns there. It's not too bad. Alright, this LFA is going to come in. It's going to be a lot of damage. I don't think he kills. Ooh, Ooh never mind. Oh, look at the ML Ken! Uh, LRK can't crit uh, on his S3, so he's never going to proc the ML Ken there, but it's okay. Uh, let's see how much damage we actually do here. I'm kind of curious, because he, um, he had damage mitigation and a barrier from before, but let's see how much damage we do if we have no crit damage. Oh, okay, oh, actually, all right. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. I kind of wish that we saw the hit uh, land, like the defense break land on that landy there, but... Oh well, 15% and a 15%, right guys? Alright guys, so let's take the uh, approach that I kind of talked about earlier where you have a Aureus Mitigation Knight. In this case, I have Last Rider Crow here. Uh, he's going to be mitigating some of the damage for the team. He's also pretty good into these AoE damage dealers like Bologna's S2, uh, Bellion, all her hits are AoE, Aiden's S2, right? And he's going to get his cooldowns off pretty quick, which means he can keep um, using his S3 and ramping up his own damage. Albedo here is going to have her passive reducing the amount of crit damage that we take on our team, which is going to be pretty good good. She also allows us to start the match with a barrier, and every time we get hit by an AoE, LRK each turn can provide us an extra barrier, so we're gonna be pretty safe. Uh, we're gonna bring in Spectre Tenebra as our damage dealer, Death Dealer Ray as a support unit, because there is that Aiden on the other side. Uh, hopefully DDR doesn't die, so I'm hoping that the LRK mitigation along with Albedo can actually help here. Well, we're not really going to be able to see the damage right now, unless, of course, Aiden lives. Maybe we'll let Aiden live and just see how much she does with her S3. But let's go ahead and sleep everyone. Let's push up the team. All right. Uh, we will... Actually, we'll probably we'll probably have uh, Aiden take this turn here. So, LRK is going to go in S3. This won't kill the Aiden. I'm pretty sure it won't. It's only our first S3. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. But I don't think it's going to be enough. So there you go. Uh, barrier getting replenished here uh, because the belly encounter. But yeah, let's see how much damage this is to... Well, that's actually not bad, right? Not a terrible uh, amount of mitigation that's going on. And look at this. We actually go ahead and uh, delete the invincibility. Oh, wait, where did Aiden go? <laughs> I think the extra damage from Albedo's uh, uh, artifact, the 3F, actually ended up killing the Aiden. Spectre hasn't even gone yet. Look at the damage that's on the other team. That's insane. Wow. Um, I, th I think Albedo's damage plus I think the Venom detonation from the Pestilence is what, what ended up killing. Let's go ahead and kill off the Bologna, just because she's probably the, the primary damage dealer here. Bellion's not really going to be doing all that much now. Yeah, so there we go. DDR is going to get stunned. It's alright because we do a Potion Vial, so we will be able to cleanse uh, ourselves when we take the next turn. I do want to see Albedo's uh, damage. Ooh, actually, should we go for the... I don't know how much resist this Arbol has. Let's go for the Bellion. We do have an effectiveness buff right now from the DDR. So hopefully we land this. Alright, come on. 
Ah, uh, there you go. Beautiful stuff. And that, again, that little bit of chip damage there is pretty good. Like, we can just kill Bellion right here, right? Detonate that injury. Beautiful stuff. So, yeah, this is a kind of tanky team where I don't think I'm even afraid to bring Spectre to Nibri into a match like this, honestly. Um, because of how durable it is. You saw that Aiden right there, right? Uh, she was attacking and didn't even take down half of DDR's health. Now, probably would have taken a little bit over half, um, just because Aiden is Aiden, but we did have a barrier from the LRK. We would have had a barrier, I think, from the protection set anyway, so it wouldn't have been too bad. Oh yeah, look at this, Alveda with another counterattack here. And, um, not too bad in terms of damage, right? For a knight that's kind of sitting there mitigating damage, not too bad. Um, I'm not going to be showcasing the damage build in this video right now. I do want to test her an RTA first with a kind of tanky build. Uh, we'll see how that goes before we switch. Alright guys, how about we try out a fun little team for this round here. So, I uh, decided to um, pair Albedo with Christy. Christy actually has an Aureus uh, in her skill tree, but for the backline unit only. So we're going to put it on Summer Break Charlotte. She's also going to be sharing some resist with uh, Christy so that she won't get debuffed here. We're using Elvira to stop this uh, Abyssal Euphume from ever popping off with her uh, passive. So yeah, we're just going to see if we can kind of troll around with this one. Uh, see what we can get away with. And I also want to see what Albedo can do in terms of uh, providing support in a team like this. Um, because there's a more aggressive team on the other side. Obviously, it's not like a cleave or an aggro team. Most people don't put those on arena defenses, but it is still a pretty um, aggressive team with this Politus and Abyssal Euphine for damage, right? The Emma Politus there to, to kind of uh, start things off everyone, too. I think what I'll do is I'll go for the Bellion. Should I go for Bellion? I think so. Ooh, hmm. Let's go for... Bellion, yeah? Let's do it. Let's see how much damage we can do here. Oh, that's actually not bad. Alright. Uh, that's because she takes a proportion of the uh, the max health of your, your opponent, right? So, let's see what Albedo can do. This little counter-attack here. We are unbuffable and a speed down, but it's okay. Oh, that's, oh, actually, that's pretty decent damage. Look how squishy that Politus is, right? And look how much damage we were able to do to her. That's actually not terrible. So if you're using, if you're using an Albedo like this in an anti-cleave or an anti-aggro team, I think it could work pretty decently. Uh, Elvira is getting low, but that's fine. She has her um, immortality, so she will be completely okay. Let's try to strip the defense buff from this uh, Bellion here. Okay, good. Some break Charlotte doing some work as well. And let's go ahead and strip these buffs. Beautiful stuff. Got the Beguile. Okay. So, let's go for the S3 on the Christy. Get some healing on her, because she is mitigating some damage for us. Get that attack buff with the Summer Break Charlotte, too. Alright, good, good, good. Uh, let us see here. Let's go for Abyssal Euphine. She is going to counter once more. We'll be okay. So I'm like Charlotte kind of kind of hanging in there, right? Because uh, because of the Christy giving her like the resistance, we are we are still a bit safe. All right, Albedo is going to be taking her first turn. She's been she's been kind of screwed over here because we we have the decreased speed uh, debuff, so we weren't able to cycle as much, especially because we are pretty low on speed, about 150 speed, right? Yeah, let's go for the S3 here. Nice. Ooh, actually, not not bad, not bad in terms of damage. Okay, the, uh, the main thing is, once you defense break, right, you're, you're kind of opening up the, the floor for your DPS to come in and sweep. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. So some break show is going to come in. Boom, boom. There you go. Holy Sacrifice is going to be proccing, but that's okay. She'll come back and we should still have uh, a decent chance here. Even if Elvira dies, that's not the main thing. If Elvira dies here, uh, it's still okay. Never mind, she's not going to die. <laughs> if she died there, it would have been okay, mostly because the fact that um, the Elvira uh, already prevented Euphine from getting the Fighting Spirit in the next turn or two uh, with our Sunbreak Charlotte. We should be able to finish off this Euphine. But there you go, another dual attack to finish things off. And Abyssal Euphine's no more. So Albedo, again, just mitigating that damage there. You saw the Aureus and Albedo's mitigation. Actually keeping that Sunbreak Charlotte quite healthy. We got hit by how many counterattacks from that Abyssal Euphine? And we were still good, right? So in the end, not terrible.
Alright guys, for our last little showcase here, we're going to be going into this more of a standard team. You got a healer with a reviver, got some mitigation, got Karina for some damage, and also some supporting uh, roles. And we also have ML Landy there as their main DPS. We're going to bring Albedo into this. We're still on her own artifact. We're going to see if we can get the whole defense break shenanigans going here. A Tywin's mostly here for the HP imprint and some mitigation. He's on Aureus. And so with a knight like A Tywin on your side, I think Albedo actually does have some merit. She has some strips that she can use, right, uh, in her S2 as well. So if you can get rid of immunity, it's kind of big. Uh, we'll see what we can do with this uh, match over here, though, because I am using ML Politis here, so we will try to open up and strip some buffs. Uh, no immunity strip there. We're not going to rip a Tywin's S... Actually, we could rip a Tywin's S3. There's no reason not to, right? I guess we'll just go for it. I didn't soul burn it, and I don't think I need it. I'm gonna try soul burning Albedo instead. But there you go, defense breaks and uh, stuns on everybody here. Now, Albedo's um, S3 is a single target defense break. Now, uh, A Tywin's one of those rare units where you can AoE defense break and it's pretty consistent because of this rage ignoring res. But obviously it's not going to happen all the time, and of course you're going to have immunity units, so I think Albedo uh, might be able to do something here. Again, it's kind of hard, it's kind of difficult to showcase a unit like Albedo uh, when... Oh, okay. Ooh, that's actually pretty decent splash damage. It's uh, Again, it's kind of difficult to showcase what she can do because I build her like a tank. If you build her more like a damage dealer, you might be able to get more impressive showcases, uh, but that is not what I'm after here. Let's actually see if we can... Ooh, do you think he has enough resist on this Arwell? Or should I go after somebody... No, uh, let's go after the... Let's go after the Arwell. Let's, let's give it a shot. Why not? Bologna's gonna lose her first turn, but that's okay. She got stunned by the Arwell here. Yeah, she is gonna resist, unfortunately. No defense break there, uh, but it's fine. Let's go for an S1... Uh, S1 on Destina. Provoke her. There we go. Okay, he is gonna Elbrus me. A little sad, but it's okay. We do have... Uh... Oh, look at that damage! Look at that damage from Bologna. I think we can kill Navy Captain Landy here. Boom. All right. There you go. Karina's defense broken, so she shouldn't be too big of an issue. Uh, let's see how much... Oh, actually, when you S1 and you crit, it's actually not bad. You know, maybe you can go like a lower crit damage and just put 100% crit on her. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I know some people are actually using... Um, some people are actually using her with like zero speed, I think, like full destruction damage builds. If you're one of those people that are using her like that, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, I don't know if I want to go down that route since I am a pretty defensive player in RTA. We play very passively and uh, yeah, I, I normally don't go for those types of plays. I also just really want another copy of her artifacts. I really want to test it on Bellion. I think it'd be sick. All right, let's see how much damage we do here. Oh, actually, again, not terrible. It's not terrible damage, right? It's like a mini rocket punch gauntlet, but of course on your HP scaling bruisers, and it could potentially be AOE. Uh, ooh, uh-oh, let's... Uh, Landy's not really going to do all that much, right? Let's go ahead and just attack the Destina here. Alright, so now we get to S2. I think this kills off pretty much everyone once more, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's go ahead and kill Destina. Alright, good stuff. And there you go. So yeah, again, pretty difficult to tell how much of an impact she had on the game. We weren't taking that much damage from the Landy, though. Without a healer, we did pretty good there, I would say, in terms of keeping everyone nice and healthy. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Beto in the comment section down below. I feel like she's decent. She's just an average, mediocre knight. Uh, and we'll see if she does well in RTA. If you want to see her in action there, uh, do hit that subscribe button and hit that like button to let me know that you want to see more Epic 7 content. And until next time, take care.